The FDA now requires all mammogram providers to notify patients about the density of their breast tissue because of an increased risk of breast cancer. Florida already requires doctors to notify a patient if their mammogram indicates extremely dense breast tissue. But in today's Your Healthy Family, doctors say this will strengthen that requirement and make it a rule across the country to prevent more cases of breast cancer. To explain why the FDA's new requirement for breast cancer screenings is so important, you need to understand what dense breast tissue is. Dr. Olga Menjin, a radiologist who's fellowship trained in breast imaging, says it has a masking effect. And so I'm going to use my hand as an example here. Let's say that a woman has not dense breast tissue, so her tissue is like my fingers, and you can see through the gaps between my fingers. And I'm going to use this plant here. So if I Let's say this leaf here is a breast cancer. If I put the leaf between my fingers, we can see it. And so we can see a very small cancer within that breast tissue because there's lots of gaps between it. Whereas if tissue is dense, it's like the palm of my hand. And let's say this leaf again is a small cancer. I can hide that leaf behind the palm of my hand and that leaf needs to become bigger before we can see it peeking out from behind my palm. Now you can see how that dense tissue increases the risk of breast cancer and the amount of screening a woman may need to catch it early. Here in Florida, if a woman's mammogram indicates dense breast tissue, she'll get a letter about it in the mail. Dentbreastinfo.org says that requirement was set to expire in June of this year unless extended by law. But now the FDA requires all women across the country to be notified. Dr. Menjin says 3D imaging can help radiologists detect dense breast tissue and if it's found more steps are taken so one out of ten women are going to get called back from their mammogram the majority of those women once we get extra images and possibly an ultrasound they're done okay just a small percentage of those women are then going to need a biopsy but even that the biopsies are mostly benign so only a small percentage of women who need a biopsy will actually be diagnosed with breast cancer. The CDC says one in eight women will get breast cancer in her lifetime, so this impacts hundreds of thousands of people. Dr. Menjin says screening and early detection are the best ways to prevent cancer deaths. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg, and for more health stories, head to fox4now.com slash yourhealthyfamily.